Within months of making his Formula One debut, Jean Alesi was hot property on the driver market. Of the big teams chasing his signature, Williams was the first to move, getting him to sign an agreement early in 1990 to take him to the team the following year. Had that move gone through, Alesi would have driven for the team during one of its most dominant periods. Instead, while Nigel Mansell and Alain Prost cruised to world championships in 92 and 93, Alesi was driving some of the worst cars in Ferrari's history. So how did it all go so wrong? To this day, even Alesi doesn't have all the answers. Alesi burst onto the F1 scene in the middle of 1989 with Tyrrell, replacing Michele Alboreto when the Italian veteran fell out with the team. Alesi continued to race in Formula 3000 for the rest of the year, winning the championship that is equivalent to today's Formula 2 series, so by the end of the season his stock was high. Alesi could well be a name to look out for in the future. Has not put a foot wrong. Williams expressed an interest in signing him for 1991 that winter, and by early 1990 Alesi had an agreed contract. However, that deal included a clause saying the option on his services could be taken up any time up to September. When Alesi questioned it, he was told it was just lawyers speak, and the announcement would be made at the French Grand Prix that summer. Before then, Ferrari came calling. It wanted Alesi to partner Alain Prost, and team boss Cesare Fiorio hit the roof when Alesi said he couldn't. Alesi didn't reveal who he had signed with, but Fiorio eventually found out and told him on the eve of the French Grand Prix Williams would not be making the announcement because it was trying to sign Ayrton Senna. Alesi tried to get Williams to confirm the announcement would take place as originally planned, but he was told to wait a little bit longer and not to listen to anything Ferrari was telling him. At the British Grand Prix, Alesi pleaded with Frank Williams to announce their deal for 91, telling him that if it didn't happen that weekend, he wouldn't drive for the team. Still nothing happened, prompting Alesi to accept an approach from Piero Fusaro, the president of Ferrari. He showed this contract to Williams, who told him, you can do whatever you want, but you are mine. You already have a contract. Alesi then sought advice from former Williams driver Nelson Piquet, who told him that if Williams didn't announce his deal straight after the British Grand Prix, he should sign for Ferrari. Piquet then brought his own negotiating experience to the table, making some additional demands on Alesi's behalf, including more money and a Ferrari F40 road car. A surprised Ferrari accepted the revised terms. With the added complication of Tyrrell seeking legal clarification over a £1.2 million buyout clause in Alesi's contract, the whole saga took its toll. At the German Grand Prix, Alesi called a press conference to address the rumours about his future, saying that as well as Williams, Ferrari and Tyrrell, he had interest from McLaren for 1991. He told the media he was going through a difficult period in his life, that he wasn't used to this sort of thing, and he wondered if things had gone too well for him at the start of his F1 career, attracting more attention than he was capable of handling. Eventually, the Ferrari deal was locked in, Williams received compensation and a 1990 Prost Ferrari, which it later put on display in its museum. Alesi says he has no regrets about choosing Ferrari, but to this day he doesn't know why Williams delayed its announcement. Ferrari's claim that Williams was holding out for Senna could be true, as Fiorio was also in talks with Senna that summer, so it's possible the Brazilian would have mentioned he'd had interest from Williams. The only explanation Alesi received from Williams at the time came when he first signed the contract. He was told the delay until July was because Renault wanted the driver lineup announced at its home race. Frank Williams' reason for this was that Renault paid the driver's salaries, and at the time Alesi signed his Williams deal, the French manufacturer wasn't aware of it. But Williams assured Alesi the July date gave him plenty of time to get Renault on board with the decision. So perhaps that never materialised. The other complication comes from Nigel Mansell's shock announcement at the British Grand Prix that he was retiring from F1. This put more pressure on Ferrari to lock in a new teammate for Prost and gave Williams the chance to coax Mansell out of retirement, which could have easily led to the Alesi deal being put on the back burner. 